Hi everyone, it's Ms. Dietrich here helping you to use a tape diagram to model and solve the equation. We're going to start by looking at the equation 5e equals 45. From my experience, I'm finding that most students are actually pretty comfortable using the algebra, but they're unfamiliar with how to do a tape diagram. So let's do the algebra first and then we'll see how it applies to the tape diagram. If we apply algebra, you first have to know that this means 5 times some number, 5 times some value e equals 45. And most students are familiar with knowing that we're going to apply inverse operations. The opposite of multiply a variable by 5 is to divide it by 5. And we're going to show that with a fraction bar. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. And 1 times e is e. And then we'll bring the equal sign down. And then 45 divided by 5 equals 9. And if we do the check, 5 times 9 equals 45. So it checks. All right, so we know the answer is 9, which that wasn't terribly difficult. So that, let's take a look at how the bar model would show that. If you're using the bar model, step one is to draw two equal size rectangles. And here you can see that I have this first rectangle that I've drawn that's 45. And then I have another rectangle that represents 45. But in this case, it's broken up into the five pieces because it's five times some value that equals the same thing, or 45 in this case. Now the reason why we divided by five to get the nine It'll become more clear when we take a look at the model. So that we're saying that this piece is equal to 9. If you think about it, 9, if this is 9, this is 9, this is 9, this is 9, and this is, is 9. If we use repeated addition to think about how these two things are related, wouldn't 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 equal 45? And of course, that's the same thing as, as 5 times 9 equaling 45. So the solution to this, if we're just going to circle the solution, is right here, which is 9. All right, now let's take a look at another problem. f divided by 3 equals 10. Now you can think of it this way, even though most teachers are going to want you to be more comfortable with this presentation of it. What's the opposite of divide a variable by 3? Wouldn't it be to multiply by 3? And to keep it balanced, we'd want to do that on both sides. Now most teachers are going to prefer you to use cross products, and they're going to want you to maybe rethink this 10 as 10 over 1. And if we're using cross products, we would do f times 1 and get the f. And then we would do the other cross product. I'll put that in a different color. How about blue? We would do 3 times 10 and get the 30. All right, so algebraically, we know the answer is 30. So I'm going to put that down here. Now let's erase the algebra. And now let's take a look at how you would do a bar model. Now in this case, you would, you would still draw the two bars that are equal to each other. See how these two things are equal. Oops, I think that's a little bit off. So. Forgive me for not having it perfectly lined up so that you can see that they're equal, but they are. All right, so one side of the equation, I have that down here, f divided by 3. The other side of the equation, I have that over here, and the two bars are equal. Once you have it set up like that, then you have to look at, uh, we're going to look at this one here and take a look at this bar. Now that's f divided by 3. So you have to ask yourself, what would f look like if this is just a piece of it? It's one-third of it. So let's take a look. If, if we have that three times, see one, two, three times, wouldn't that this longer bar that I've drawn here represent f? Now here's what we know. We know that if that piece is equal to, these two pieces are equal to each other, f divided by 3 is equal to 10. And if we know we need three of these to equal this piece, that means we're going to need three of these to equal this piece. Ten plus 10 plus 10, or 10 times 3 to apply our inverse operations, would still equal 30. And this bar model really shows that well. So let's just review. You have these two bars that equal each other at first, and then you have to think, what would the whole f look like if this is just a piece of it? And then we were able to extrapolate that this thicker uh, bar would have to be equal to f, which of course we know is 30. So it checks. If we do 30 divided by 3, to apply our algebra check, we'll put the 30 in the place of f. 30 divided by 3 equals 10, and 10 equals 10. So the equation checks, and it makes sense.